Aloha everyone! In this video, I will be teaching you how incredibly easy it is to whip up creamy carbonara with ingredients I bet most of you already have in your kitchen. The ingredients I'm talking about are bacon, I use 6 to 8 slices, your choice of pasta, I like using spaghetti, you'll need salt, 3 cloves of garlic, half of a medium onion, 4 eggs, black pepper, and parmesan cheese. Now of course fresh grated parmesan would be ideal, but trust me, it's still delicious and my husband doesn't even taste the difference. It is best to have all of your ingredients prepped ahead of time because the cooking process is very quick. So for the bacon, all I did was cut them into bite-sized pieces. For the onion, I roughly chopped them and minced the garlic. Now I'm going to show you what brings the heavenly creamy aspect to this dish. You will need two whole eggs and two egg yolks. Egg yolk doesn't only add richness and flavor, they are great emulsifiers that help bind the fat from the pork to the sauce which creates that smooth velvety texture. To separate the egg white from the yolk, I'm just using the eggshell method. You can use your hands, or I've even seen people suck up the yolk with a water bottle. Whatever works for you. Once you've collected all the eggs in a bowl, give them a good scramble, and then add one cup of the Parmesan cheese. Mix them well together until they form the consistency similar to grits. Set this bowl aside as it will be added at the very end. Let's move over to the stove where you're going to start heating water to cook your pasta and in a pan on medium high heat you will cook your bacon. The goal is to cook that bacon and allow it to release all of its fat which will add great flavor to the dish. Don't forget to salt your water before you throw the pasta in. I personally love my pasta cooked al dente so I time myself to boil my noodles a little after I started cooking the bacon. Speaking of bacon, when it starts to release its fat, it's a good time to throw in the onions. Once the onions start to get transparent, add your garlic. Don't add the garlic too early because they can burn easily and we don't want burnt garlic. A very important step you do not want to forget is not to dispose your pasta water. The starch from the pasta water helps bind the ingredients and also acts as a thickening agent. For this reason, I don't even strain my noodles. Instead, I transfer my noodles straight from the water into the pan with the bacon. Toss the noodles with all those cooked ingredients, making sure to evenly coat the pasta. Next, I added pasta water a half cup at a time using a total of one cup. But you can be the judge of how much water you need to add. The key is to make sure the noodles are not dry, but at the same time not adding too much water where it's sitting in a puddle. Remove the pan from the heat and allow it to cool down for a few minutes because next we are going to add our egg and cheese mixture. If the pan is still super hot, it will cook your eggs too quick and you'll end up with clumpy, scrambled eggs instead of that rich and creamy sauce. To finish off, you can't have carbonara without a generous crack of black pepper. And there you have yourself some beautiful cooked carbonara. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you've made it this far in the video, comment the spaghetti emoji. Also, if you haven't already, please consider joining the free subscription so you can hang out with me and learn more easy recipes like this one. On top of recipe videos, I share some personal vlogs and DIY projects. All my content are organized by playlists, so please feel free to explore. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.